Hi there. So the other day I was on a walk, walking the dog with my niece, Brenna, and she's about 13 years old. And randomly in the middle of our morning walk, I started cheering, not like rah, rah, but like doing a cheer that a cheerleader would do. And she looked at me like I was crazy and looked around to make sure no one was watching. And then I told her that when I was her age and going into high school, I desperately wanted to be a cheerleader. My mom had been a cheerleader, some of my friends were cheerleaders, and I so wanted to be a cheerleader. So I tried out. And we had about two weeks between the time that we got the cheer and the time of the audition. And in those two weeks, I practiced my heart out. I went to the backyard, not my bedroom, where there were no distractions, and for at least two hours a day, I would practice the cheer. I would practice the moves and the jumps and the words and the tone every single day for two weeks. I was ready, but there was one problem. I couldn't do a split. And at the end of the tryout cheer, there was a split, and I practiced and practiced and tried and tried, and I could not get it. So I finally called in to my mother who had been a cheerleader and asked her what to do and she offered up a jazz split. Now, for those of you that don't know, a jazz split is sort of a fake split where you put one leg in front of you and you sort of bend the other leg and pretend it doesn't exist. I had no other option, so I went with the jazz split. And on the day of the audition, I cheered my little heart out. I did my jazz split to end the tryout and I didn't get a spot on the team. And as I told Brenna this story, her eyes got big and she got sort of sad and she said, oh my God, did you cry? And it's funny because I'm sure I cried. I'm a crier, but I don't remember that at all. What I remember is the confidence that I had going into that tryout. I remember knowing that I had done everything that I could do to get that spot on the team. I remember knowing that I had prepared and focused and gotten the help and used the tools that I had to do the best job I could do. And that has taught me one of my greatest lessons. You're not always going to get the win, but you can always get more self-confidence in preparing for the win. I have used the self-confidence that I earned from trying out for the cheerleading team and from other things that I have tried to become a trial lawyer, to become an anchor at the Law and Crime Network, to write a book, to start a podcast, to lose 100 pounds, to finally learn how to do a split. I did all of those things because I tried and didn't always succeed on the first attempt, but I always earned a little bit more self-confidence. When you have self-confidence, risks aren't as big of a deal and the losses can't really touch you. When you have self-confidence, you're willing to go for that sale or that investment or do that side hustle or ask for that support. You are willing to express your love and your joy. You are able to have more fun. Self-confident women ask for what they want. They advocate for themselves again and again and again. So I don't remember what happened after I came home that day and didn't make the team. I'm sure I cried. But what I kept from that experience is the seed of self-confidence that has grown into so many beautiful things. I did all I could to earn that spot. And in doing so, I earned confidence in myself. And that has made all the difference. I now work with women to help them earn their own self-confidence and advocate for what they want again and again, because I know that women who ask for what they want, get it. If you wanna work with me, email me at heather at elegantwarrior.com or join our course, which starts on September 13th. This is a 10 week course, each week with a new tool of a trial attorney that will help you to advocate for yourself and if you find at the end that you have not become a better advocate, you get your money back, no questions asked. There is nothing to lose and all the self-confidence in the world to gain. So join us. Again, the link is below and have a great weekend. Take good care.